guys? Stephanie Scare here, aka The Ab Chick, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to cook tilapia. And I've been getting a lot, a lot of questions on, you know, how do I cook it, what do I do, and how does it taste so amazing when I cook it. Um, top secret, I just use a pan. I use tilapia. I use canola oil, oh, spray, spray pan, spray stuff, and my secret ingredient da -da -da -da, is the McCormick roasted garlic and herb. And then we have a new friend with us today. We have tilapia, short for Tilly, or Tilly for short, and we found her at Home Depot. And we're still trying to figure out what we're going to do with her. Anywho, so we're going to go ahead and start cooking. Um, it's going to be a long cook. So let's get started. We got three trays to cook. This will last me only five days. And basically just because I only eat tilapia. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So... Pretty much what I do is I put two pans out because I want to be speedy and quick and I want to make sure that I'm cooking as efficient as possible and let's see we put it on high high and then we get our spray and we cover this baby up I know I know I know I'm gonna get a lot of crap from you guys about canola oil and how like it's not that great I mean tilapia it's also not the best fish to eat and I understand that but one you know for the amount of fish that I eat you know it's the most cost-effective and not only that what is the other thing um, it tastes really good when I cook it and I buy it from Costco's which it's better I think and they're all farm raised. You're never gonna find a tilapia that is wild caught. So, and this one's farm raised and product of Mexico. So pretty much what you wanna look at is that it's not from China. So I did my research and apparently from China, they really feed them like the nastiest stuff. So you wanna stay with uh, tilapia that was farm raised in Mexico, US, or Canada. And that's where you can, excuse me, I'm talking here. Just kidding. And that's where you're gonna get the best uh, tilapia out there. So, all right. So here we have our pans. This one's already kind of getting a little black. I like it when it's black. I know I'm gonna get crap about that too, but it's okay. You know what, I've, I've, I've come to the conclusion that, you know, you guys are all gonna judge me at some point and I'm okay with that. So I don't know how to, oh, babe, I might need help. I can't place this. This doesn't move. I don't know what to do. Okay. We're going to bring this up. Oh no, it's burning. Help. Okay. <sighs> Technical difficulties. Okay, hold on. Maybe. Maybe. So is he even filming? Yes, it's still filming. Ugh. Can you just like come here for like two seconds? It's literally burning. Help. Get out of the chair. Come on. I need you. You're on camera. I just want you to hold it for a minute so I can show them how I'm putting the tilapia on. Uh -huh. So, you know, you poke a hole, right, right? Okay, so it's already burning. So that's great because that means that we're going to get some delicious tilapia. Oh, wait, the can't hear me. That's on. Just wait. So we put, I don't like to put too many. Um, and then the tilapia from Costco's are usually bigger than the ones from Walmart and on the other places. So, I think that one can fit four. Okay. So there we have it. We got the four tilapias in each pan. And now we have our seasoning, our, our secret ingredient. And we're just going to dazzle on. Yum. Okay, so I know I'm also gonna get crap about how much sodium this has. So this has 150 milligrams for a four teaspoon. Guys, sodium is not bad for you. Just make sure you drink a lot of water and then you flush it all out. 
That's the trick, and that's how I can keep my abs. That's how I keep my. Yeah. So if you want good pumps, guys, you, get, you guys need some sodium. Obviously, don't overdo it. And if you're not drinking, you know, like, and if you have heart issues, then definitely be careful with your salt intake. All right. So now we're gonna get our pan, and that wasn't ready. So what we want to have is for it to be like pretty black before we turn it around. Okay. So I just like to check it, making sure that it's, not, yeah, so it's not yet. I, li I like it pretty burnt. Not burnt, but it's like almost burnt. So, sorry Joe, I just need you for a minute. Let me just flip it and make the first batch and then you're out of here, I'll make the rest. And then I can show you the rest after. Okay, so, and then we get a big bucket. We get a big bucket to put in our tilapia once it's done. Um, obviously, I'm making a lot of tilapia. I like to only keep three days worth in the fridge, and then the rest, I like to leave it in the freezer, so I'll just like put it in a Ziploc bag and just pop it in the freezer, and then once I'm ready to eat it, I pull it out, and boom. So, I think some of these are almost ready. Let me see. Oh, this one's definitely ready. So notice how it has that golden look. That's what we're striving for, guys. It's still not as golden as I'd like, but it's okay. Y'all get the point. That's a little better. Oh, that one's a good one. That one's okay. Oh, that one's a good one. Okay, so now we wait. Once the other side is also, like, crispy, then we take it out, and then we continue. Now, once they're golden, I put them in here, and then I put them in there. Um, the reason why I put them on a plate first is because I want it to get crispy, and I want the crispiness to stay. If I leave them, sorry, <laughs> if I leave them in the Tupperware, they'll get soggy and a little soft. So putting it in the plate, letting it cool down, and then putting it in the Tupperware has, I've seen to be the best thing for it. I'm gonna show you guys what I do for the ones that I go in the fridge, in the freezer. So I typically try to do like a one day's worth or two days worth, so we'll see how much we have here. Um, so I eat five ounces of fish five times a day. So we're just gonna count down with it. So we're looking for 25 ounces? Yes. Ugh. Ugh, it's hot. I should have waited. Motherfucker. Okay, so we got 11 ounces. Now we can probably use this. Got 15 ounces. Oh, fuck. A pound. Uh oh. Help! That's 16 ounces. Yeah. Okay. 17, 18, 19. Okay, help. Oh god, it's gonna burn, help. Like one pound and nine ounces. But tell me how much that is in ounces. Oh, hold on, I need 25 ounces, go! One pound and nine ounces. 16 plus nine. Help, Joe, it's gonna burn! You I want can't... 25, right? Yeah. Yes, 16 oh. plus nine. So I need nine ounces? Yeah. One pound and nine ounces. Damn it, Joe, it's gonna burn. I told you the answer. Okay, one pound, nine ounces. ounces. Yes, but I wasn't really understanding. Okay, okay so now, let me go over here. So that's one day's worth of fish, and I'm just gonna like store that out. And then this one, these are gonna burn. Burn, burn, burn. They burn, but that tastes really good, so I'm not too mad. Um, okay, so that's it. I definitely, and I'll do this for like two more meals, and then the rest are just gonna go in the double but Now, we just, Zip it up, get all of the air out. What do you think, tilapia? How does the tilapia look? And we just seal it up, and we store it in the freezer. I guess I will show you guys that too. I don't know if that's too easy. All right, guys, so this is my last batch. We have the rest of it here, and then I put another day's worth in a Ziploc bag, zip it up, and then put it in a Ziploc bag. 
That was all three. And now I'm also cooking vegetables and that'll be another video. So pretty much that's what I do guys. That's my trick on how I meal prep. This is worth for five days. Once again, I leave three days out. What is that? I just said. It's just three days out and then five days in the, no, so three days in the fridge and two days in the freezer. Um, and then I go from there. Unfortunately guys, poor tilapia, so sweet. She won't be able to stay with us. Froyo unfortunately is super sick. And I'm sorry baby, I'm sorry. Froyo is super sick guys. I don't know what she caught, but she is not feeling well. So poor tilapia, we're gonna, you know, see if we can find her a good home and go from there. But for now, once, um, okay, so back to the tilapia, this tilapia. Once this is done and pulled down, I'm gonna put it in this bucket and then put it in the fridge and then I'm done and that's it. And then I, um, for those of you who need a little bit easier where, you know, you go off to work and stuff, I work from home so it's easy for me to just, you know, separate the food or whatever. You can uh, separate them into individual packs so let's say you have meals that are four ounces or three ounces, you put them into small little bags and just freeze them like that and just pick and go. And then same thing, just literally put them into Tupperwares from here on out. So, all right, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys like it, please do not give this a thumbs up because it's tilapia, hello, just kidding, give it a thumbs up. And follow me if you want, subscribe to me, follow me on the app chick, um, see my website, theappchick.com, and then, you know, I hope to see you guys on the next one, maybe, if not, it's okay. I'll forgive you, maybe. No, uh, okay. Bye!